Hello and welcome back to Game Time. I bet you guys weren't expecting this. Well, I can tell you what you weren't expecting even more. I bet you weren't expecting this. This is not the world you guys are used to. This is my personal file. Where I've uh, I've done all kinds of neat things over here. We'll start by having a tour around my backyard. My spawn point Believe it or not, hmm. trying to render this full screen to get a better resolution here, but my spawn point is right here. This is my spawn point. So when I die, I'm immediately back at a very safe spot, for the most part. I spawned right outside this cave. When I spawned, I wandered around very briefly and decided I needed shelter way too quick. So I just dug into the side of this hill here. I've since planted this forest. I've got a nice uh, bamboo garden. Mushrooms growing in my forest. I built this lighthouse. It's built um, with a obsidian core. So if something does happen and uh, like a creeper blows it up which as you can see happened here recently then I can quite easily just uh, climb this little core here and rebuild it so I'll climb up here real quick to show you guys the awesome view from the top of my awesome lightstone lighthouse I have the ladders over here because uh, you'll fall otherwise that the ladders will keep you up so you can have the full platform up here without having the way up obstructed. Little towers and whatnot. And down there you can see part of my, uh, there's my house. So we'll climb back down real quick because this isn't the peak of the tour by far. And uh, every like fifth block I put another light stone and I put a window on all sides, even on the stairs, because believe it or not, it'll actually shine up through there. And um, light actually reflects off glass, sort of. It, it, it makes it so you can see, at night you'll see it, where it'll actually be four or five squares away from the glass on the outside, so I can see this whole tower from top to bottom. Now... <clears throat> I'll come over here and show you this. This is my uh, my greenhouse in this this place here. Um, as you can see, it, it's much more planned out, much more well thought. Uh, these are all light stones. They produce an infinite amount of light and will never go out unless you smash them. They they're just like glass, but you find them in hell or the Nether, whichever you want to call it. My flowing river that comes all the way down to each end delivering the seeds right to the very end. And these will provide the light to my farm 24 hours a game time day. So I never have to worry about food. And you'll notice over here I have sort of my own variation of the X-Lite 9000. Um, it's from David64 YouTube. Uh, he calls himself X and he did uh, X's Adventures in Minecraft. I loved his idea. I, I, I always mind the very typical way, you know, like I did in, in the game time, where you dig down at an angle and eventually you get to the bottom. This is the ideal way because not only do you get the most out of it, you, build, you dig one layer at a time so you know you can get everything out of this particular part of the land that you possibly can, but also during the day you can see the sun from the very bottom of the earth all the way to the very top, always. And this one little ladder here takes you all the way to the bottom. And as you can see at the bottom here, I actually got into a little trouble. I, I found uh, found some lava, and when I covered it over with water, I figured it'd be great for mining obsidian. Well, I haven't dug it out yet. But if a monster happens to spawn down here, like, because there's plenty of caves all over, I'll, I'll show you. Okay, well, there's lava, but 
If I go up just a couple, you'll see. I think actually there's, yeah, right here. Just one more up. And, uh, so if you walk over here, you'll actually see that there's caves all over the place over here. So that's, if, if something spawns in there and walks out into here, they don't stand a chance during the day. Now we get to climb all the way back up here. And, and after I'm done exploring the cave or whatever, I, I try to build like a little storage place, I guess you'd call it, to keep all the extra bullcrap. Um, this goes straight to my house. This over here, double fortified door in case something spawns on either side, I'll be able to hit them from either side without them hitting me. I, uh, I keep all the materials from that particular cave floor in the cave storage. I even took his little naming system over there. You come right down over here. I got that as a marker so I'll know. And I usually keep this one on fire too because if there's something down there and I try to come up, they'll catch on fire. Now we're up into my house. Remember this was my spawning point? Well this is where I built my house. I've got a nice cobblestone fireplace that goes up into an open chimney. Monsters fall down into that and burn all the time. It's awesome. I've got a little uh, infinite water spring in my house so I can fish or gather water from it. Brick house, which took a while to make. Storage. That's my refrigerator. That's my miscellaneous crap, and that's mostly earth. I'm not nearly as organized in this one as I was the one you guys saw, but... And then, uh... Right over here... We have a cow, who I'm going to catch on fire. No, no, he's next to a tree. I was gonna catch you on fire, but you're lucky. Moo, yes, that's right, moo. Moo, yes. Okay. We come over here. I actually built myself an, a submerged, locked, and relockable treasure room. This, yes, is a diamond block. This, yes, is a diamond block. These are all gold blocks. To make any one of these, you need nine of the individual refined. And you place them in the workbench, and it creates one block. This took nine diamonds to make. This took nine iron ingots to make. In here, I've got the redstone, some more diamond, some gold. As you can see, I've got plenty to spare. And my obsidian. This is my treasure room. I keep it well fortified in case um, in case I try to steal for myself, I guess. I don't know. And the last part of the tour that I should probably give you guys is right over here. And I know you guys have seen it a couple times and already and you're probably going, what the hell is that? That, my friends, is my hell temple. This is the reason why I don't want to go to the nether, because I've built this. This over there, there was just a, um, a dungeon under the water, actually. And, uh, you know what, I'll keep you in suspense a little longer. I'll go over there and check that out. Swim in. See, I could make a boat, but every time I make a boat, I lose it. So, swimming's good exercise. Anyway. I'm going to come over here, and then I'll show you, it's actually a skeleton one, um, I'm planning on maybe sometime making a, uh, a trap for it, oh it's getting dark too, a trap for it so I can farm the skeletons because they drop arrows and therefore I'll never need to hunt skeletons again, I can just go down there and get the arrows. So far, since it's so deep, I haven't come up with a good way to do that yet, but I'm working on it. 
<clears throat> so this is actually all uh, stone from hell, besides the pumpkins. The pumpkins I found and made jack-o'-lanterns out of because, well, whatever. I got my big upside-down crosses with uh, glowing lava inside, well sealed so I don't hurt them. And inside this monumentum, monumental monolith, there we go, we have roof lighting and my hell portal. I may pop in there real quick just so you guys can see. Yeah, I, as you can see, I did not want anything spawning on this side of that portal, so I lit it up as brightly as I possibly could. Um, yeah, why the hell not? I'll go in real quick. I've, um, tried cultivating in here a little bit just to, um, see if I could grow trees and whatnot, and, and you can. It's just very hard to do, especially if there's, uh, guests running around. Because they blow the fuck out of everything, and including the portal, sometimes. They can actually put out your portal, because fire, while it starts this portal, it also puts out the portal, and they shoot an explosive burning ball of death. So, always take a lighter if you go in here, but... Yeah. Building terrain. Now, I'm not sure how good of a view you guys will actually get of this, because, as I say, it's kind of taxing on my computer. Um, but we'll see. <coughs> Pardon. Alright. See, that's a gas. These are my, uh, trees. This is, um... This is hell. I don't want to get too close to eat any of those, because if they put this thing out, I'm screwed. But I actually made, if you come in here... <laughs> yeah, this place is, this is awesome, isn't it? I actually made over here a little... Uh, I made another one, because every one block you travel in hell is eight blocks away. And I haven't actually built anything at the other end of this yet. It's, it's just a little nifty teleport I made to see where it would end up if I went this way. Because, uh... That's pretty much my escape route. If, if something happens to this... Whoa. Bad. If something happens to this portal, I have this portal to go into back here. So... Where'd you go? Ah, there you are. You can actually, if you saw that, you can actually bounce them back. But he's getting really close to my... Hey, a tree grew! I can see the tree over there. Yeah, as you can see, he blew the shit out of it, but a tree grew over there. I'm gonna see if I can get back out without them killing my shit, but... It's cool to see that a tree actually grew. <clears throat> anyway, that's pretty much the tour of this entire world, so, uh... I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was the glimpse into the nether. You don't need to worry, wonder about it anymore. That's why I don't want to go there, because it's horrible. You heard all those noises. Sounded like kittens. Really, really angry kittens. On crack. In an orgy. Yeah. Anyway. And it takes me right back out to here. I hate that freaking thing. Anyway. This has been the bonus edition of uh, Game Time Minecraft. Hope you enjoyed my personal world, and uh, I'll catch you all next time. Game Time.